Hey guys, welcome back to this banner video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the black screen in OBS. So I actually go through multiple solutions. I'll start with the more simpler solutions and at the end I'll go to the more complex solutions. So definitely stick till the end to see if your solution is in there. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr. And here as you can see on my Fiverr, you can get a logo or a banner or both for your YouTube channel if you want. But now back to the video. So first here you actually want to go to the desktop shortcut of OBS. You want to right click that. You want to click on properties. And once you're here, you want to go to advanced. And here as you can see is a box that says run as administrator. Now checking this box here, run as administrator will actually, actually allow you to run as administrator every time you launch up OBS. And so that's something that the creators from OBS themselves also have said is that if you run it as administrator, it will actually also better the performance. But then you actually have another tab up here. It's called compatibility. Click that. Then down here, you will see run this program as administrator. Now you can also check that one to make sure that it's also checked. So once again, that it will run as administrator that you don't have to do it manually every time. And also above here, it says run this program in compatibility mode for i do generally advise you to uncheck this one so that it's not checked but you could actually look for you if it works but i would definitely advise you to use the most recent ones like windows 7 but probably windows 8 is the best uh, options if you're gonna try out this mode anyway that is something that you actually have to watch for yourself if that will actually affect anything but generally speaking i would advise you to uncheck this one now being in obs itself right here i actually want to show you something very simple because some simple solutions can be in a small corner so as you can see here you have the eye icon always make sure that this icon is checked because as you can see when it's unchecked it will actually have a black screen so basically means that it isn't shown that it's hidden so always make sure of course that this icon is checked and actually also always make sure that the actual capture in question that you're doing is above the sources so if you have for example multiple sources here always make sure that the one you want to record in this case the display capture is always above so that it actually prioritizes the recording in question this could play a small role in some situations to have a black screen so as i said always make sure it's above to have the highest priority and talking about display capture if you're going to record your screen so your desktop and you're going to open multiple windows always make sure that it's a display capture because if you're going to for example do a specific window like a window capture you'll only be recording one window and if you quit that window for example an app or whatever that might be if you're going to quit that it will have a black screen so you have moments in the recording where there'll be a black screen when you're for example exiting or just minimalizing that window in question that's why I always advise you if you're going to once again record in your desktop, anything you do in your PC except gaming, I would say, and you're going to open multiple windows, definitely go for display capture. Now, once again, another small solution, but definitely one that you should keep in mind as well, is to make sure that the right scene is selected. You could have multiple scenes that you created, where for example, one you do display capture and the other scene you do a gaming capture, for example. So you also want to make sure that something as simple as the right scene is selected. Actually, I also wanted to show you how to add a display capture. So I'm just going to do add here and do display capture and just click OK here. And here as you can see, capture method should be on automatic. You can actually play around here by choosing Windows 10. I've actually also seen people having a problem with that if it's on the, um, automatic, but it should rather be on the Windows 10 version here, on the Windows 10 selection here. So you can try that out for yourself. And then, of course, display, very important. Always make sure that the right display is selected, obviously. Now, I only have one. It's my primary monitor. I have one, but always make sure that the right display, of course, is selected. Now, as you can see down here, you also have a little set settings button if you click on it you'll go back to this window in case you want to change anything okay i'm going to go to the same scene here actually going to show you how to add a game capture so do add and then do game capture then as you can see here click ok once again and here as you can see mode you see capture any full screen application that's also a possibility but we in this case want to capture a specific window now do make sure that the game in question is running that's very important and then you actually select capture specific window you could alternate between capture any full screen application and capture specific window because this really depends if the game in question because some games in question will actually not be able to handle one of the two settings as well so be sure to alternate between the two okay so once you have selected capture specific window here you're gonna go to window click on it and you'll see multiple options now i don't have any games running but if i would have a game running right now it would be selected in that window here in that drop down so of course in that case you would have selected the game if it's right there it should be right there and if it isn't right there i'll show you another solution in a second but always make sure that you have the game first of all opened it's running and then second of all you can of course click it right here and then down here nothing crazy these are some preferences as you can see here i do down here advise you to let it on s rgb so that the color space is rgb i do advise that one and so now i wanted to show you an alternative if game capture doesn't work for some reason you can go add another scene and then you do window capture click ok 
And now as you can see here, this will be a specific window capture. Yes, I also have the capture method once again, so also make sure that's automatic or the Windows version, the Windows 10 uh, option you have in here. But here's another version where you could select the window in question, because keep in mind that some games, and even OBS says this on their site, can't handle OBS full screen. So if the game isn't full screen, it isn't able to capture it well with, for example, game capture. And so you might actually be familiar with the windowed full screen that most games, I would say, have. So you could, of course, do it in windowed screen. You could go into the game itself and do windowed and then just capture the window but the option windowed full screen should also work in some cases if you select that one instead of just selecting full screen and this is within the game and then once again try windowed full screen start try full screen in the game and then at the same time try game capture or in this case also window capture to see if the game actually reacts better to window capture instead of game capture very important to try that out and so now i'm here in the preview zone as we call it now the preview zone shows what region but of course preferably in most cases the full screen so the preview zone actually shows you what's currently being recorded. Now you could do it partially, so region. But of course, generally speaking, you want to record your full screen. Sometimes it might happen that it is actually smaller in size or that you dragged it out of the screen without really noticing or maybe OBS did it itself. But in any case, you can try this as well. And that is if you go right click, click transform. And as you can see, there are two options here you could do. You could do reset transform. And you could also go down here to fit to screen. These will make sure that your actually preview zone of whatever you were recording goes back to its standard recording size. And so if, as I said, you dragged it out of the screen accidentally or the preview zone is somehow completely minimalized, this will actually reset it and bring it back to how it should be. Now, a second way of doing that is right-clicking display capture and then you do resize output, source size. You can also select that one. Then as you can see here, the base and output ratios will be resized to the size of the current source. Do you want to continue? You say yes. And that could also be a solution. Now, we actually want to go into the settings right here. I'm going to go to the advanced tab. And above here, you will see process priority and try to put this at least above normal or high. So make sure it's above normal or high and this actually will put a priority to the recording so this actually help to prioritize OBS in case there are other programs running which is of course a possibility while you're recording multiple windows are open so this will actually help you to prioritize OBS is recording. Once you've done that, of course, go down, click apply, and then click OK. Now there's actually a second way to set a priority for OBS. And that is if you go to your task manager. Now there are two ways you can do this. It's clicking Ctrl Alt Z together, and then you click task manager. Or you can simply go to your taskbar down here, right click, and select task manager. Now while you're here in apps, now you can't change this while recording, so just do this when you're not recording on OBS. You actually go to apps, it should be open, and you right click on it, go to details. Now there's actually also a little tab down here, as you can see details, it's right here as well, if you alternatively want to do it like this. But it basically brings you to this window, and then we're going to go down to OBS, 64.exe. You want to right click on it, set priority, and then choose above normal, high, or real time. One of the three, once again, look for yourself what, which one could work, but I definitely advise you, if you're going to do this, set this priority, so once again a priority for the recording that OBS is currently doing, compared to other programs that are running in the background. Once again, above normal, high, or real time. Here's actually another small fix in Windows itself. So you want to go to your Windows settings, or just search for it, and type display, and then click on display settings. And right here you can see HDR, and this one you can actually turn off if needed. Now actually mine is not supported, but if it would have been, you would see you have like a little on and off button here, like this one right here. And just make sure that you try to put this one off just in case, try as a solution. Now while we're here, there's actually another very important fix here. Actually go down to graphics. As you can see here, we have a list for the graphic settings of certain applications and games. Now first of all, what you want to make sure here, that it's on desktop app. So out of these two, always make sure it's on desktop app. Then I'm going to go down to browse here. Click on your local disk minus C. Then I go to program files. Could be in program files 86 or program files. And then go down to here and click on OBS Studio. Then go to bin, 64-bit, and here as you can see, we have the application OBS 64. Select that one, double click, and as you can see, we have it right here. What we're going to do is actually go to the actual options of this one. Now here, very important, you're going to have very, two very important choices. You have power saving right here, and then you have high performance. Now this part is very important. As you can see, power saving is going to be my processor, and if you're going to do high performance, it's going to be my graphics card. Now for the GPU, of course, in my case, I definitely want to go for high performance here and choose my graphics card, and you will most likely have to do that too. There are cases where you could do power saving on the laptop, you could consider it, or maybe just in general test if it's better, but of course, if you're talking GPU, you definitely want to put the graphics card over the processor. So you could test both, but once again, if you're in a similar situation as I am, definitely go for a graphics card. And so in this case, high performance. You also have this one box here, don't use optimizations for windowed games. You could check this one as well, but I generally just advise you to keep this one unchecked. Then of course, click save. 
Now after doing some of these settings, you can actually close OBS and for example, go down here in Windows and do restart. I definitely advise you to do that, especially if you just did another solution or if you just made another change within OBS, you could consider just closing OBS and then restarting it. Or as I said, you can also just restart your computer, especially if you try multiple fixes already. Now at this point, if you still haven't fixed it, I could give you some general advice. Like for example, your drivers, as standard as it sounds, make sure that all your drivers are up to date. Now, me personally, I use a software called Armory Crate. This is where I keep up with the temperature, my performance in CPU and GPU, but where I also can see the drivers for my hardware. So for the components that are in my PC. And so I can unfortunately only show it for Armory Crate in this case. So if you guys have Armory Crate, that's great. But I basically go down here to my tools. And as you can see here, I have my drivers. As you can see, they're all installed. And you see the latest and the current version. And down here is something I could do if I see that one or multiple ones are outdated. I click download and install one. And it'll do it automatically for me. Same here in utility. You can see also they're all installed with the latest version as you can see and you also have current version I have right now and same here I do download and install down there if there's anything I need to update. So do this of course in similar softwares that you have that keeps an eye on your laptop or PC. And once again, of course, make sure that all those drivers are up to date. Now also something I could advise you and remind you is that some programs or apps that are running could disturb so it could go in the way or remove your performance like we saw with the priority of OBS, but that could be disturbing your OBS recordings. So those could be apps. Armory Crate could actually be one, this software, but also a lot of other software could actually be one. But also keep in mind that it could also be an antivirus, for example, that could get in the way that you have to temporarily, I don't tell you to disable them, but temporarily disable them maybe just to check out if that actually works in order to see if the recordings actually just go on normally. If you disable them temporarily, those programs, whatever those might be. And of course, the last one, as simple as it sounds, it's really what you can do is actually just uninstall OBS. You can do that by going right here in Windows, click the settings right here, then go to your apps tab. Go up here and do installed apps. Then here, as you can see, you just have to go down here. And then you can here, you can see find it. You can do date installed. You can go to the names from A to Z in order to filter it. Or you just type it in and just find OBS Studio and then you can click uninstall here. Now, if you want to keep your recordings, of course, in the process, OBS might ask you if you want to preserve your recordings or your settings, of course, click yes if you want to preserve them. Because this is just going to be a temporary uninstallment. If you, of course, are going to plan on retaking OBS. So just uninstall it. And if OBS doesn't ask you that, then it probably just keeps your recordings anyway. And that you of course do by looking into your settings and your recording path of OBS to make sure to see where your recordings are. But that's definitely also something I could advise you that really, if something really seems to be off at this point, that you can actually just uninstall it and then install it again. Anyways, guys, as I said, I try to give you the most solutions possible, the most fixes. I really hope yours is in there. If you still have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Do make sure to rewatch different points of this video to really make sure that your solution isn't in there. And I said otherwise, you can just ask me down in the comments. Then you guys, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.